Periodically, a team will make a trade at the deadline that changes the trajectory of their entire season. We witnessed it last year with the Lakers when they acquired D'Angelo Russell and Jared Vanderbilt in a massive trade that catapulted them from the 13th seed to the Western Conference Finals. This season, the Dallas Mavericks pulled the trigger on a pair of trades that brought in PJ Washington and Daniel Gafford. Before the trade, Dallas struggled to rise above the eighth seed despite Luka having a historic season, averaging nearly a 34-point triple-double. Luka splits a double, keeps the dribble alive, all the way to the hoop, scoop to the hoop for the ball, .71 and .72. The team obtained a below average defensive rating of 117.4, good for only 22nd in the league. They sat at 26th in defensive rebounding percentage, 21st in opponent's field goal percentage, as well as dead last in opponent's field goal percentage at the rim. That basically means teams are getting whatever they wanted at the rim. Looks off the defense to Beasley. At the end of the clock, he put up a three, he missed it, but it's a putback. Now Green, defending a bigger player here at Portis, who got away from If it weren't for the combined 60 points per game by Luka and Kyrie, Dallas would have probably been a lottery team. Scratch that, they most definitely would have been a lottery team. But since they added Gafford and Washington, they've become one of the best defensive teams in the entire league. We put some stops together, we got some great offensive possessions, and our confidence and started to uh, get a little higher. And This is where they ranked amongst all teams from February to April. Seventh in defensive rating, seventh in defensive rebounding percentage, third in opponent's field goal percentage, and number one overall in opponent's field goal percentage at the rim. They went from dead last to number one. That's crazy. That extra size and athleticism that Gafford and Washington have really helped the Mavericks become more versatile and effective on defense. They're more comfortable switching on a pick and roll, their help defense is better, and they're a lot more tenacious on the boards. Not to mention that both of these guys have averaged double digit points since being traded to Dallas. Away from Lively, picked up from Irving, <laughs> fantastic pass, and he turns it. Williams on a handoff, return it. Williams, <laughs> met by Gafford. They found him, he drives, he finds Washington, another one, another one for P.J. Washington. Going from there, P.J. Washington was a huge difference maker in the semifinal series against OKC. He averaged around 18 points and 8 rebounds a night while shooting nearly 50% from both the field and the three-point line. Nothing on door, can't pick up the foul, he gives it up, Washington three, ties the game! While Gafford didn't make too much noise against the Clippers, he stepped up in the second round with 11 points, 7.5 rebounds, and 2 blocks per game. And that's another block! It's Daniel Gafford going up high! This is the kind of production Dallas desperately needed. Since early on, it looked like it was just going to be the Luka and Kyrie show. They look like a legit team now, and they're bringing all the smoke to the best teams in the Western Conference. As I'm recording this video, Dallas just won two fantastic, nail-biting games on Minnesota's home floor to take a 2-0 lead in the Western Conference Finals. Down by two. There's the switch. Go Bears up here. Doncic. Canovers for the lead. The more that I've watched this team throughout the playoffs, the more I actually believe they can win it all. These guys have all the ingredients of a championship team. They're well coached, they have star power and veteran leadership, and now they have an identity rooted in defense and toughness. PJ, Wa PJ Washington has gone full like wrestling villain here. An extra possession. Wow. But now it's your turn. Leave a comment down below. I want to hear some of your thoughts on this Mavs roster. And don't forget to like the video. It'll really help out the channel. Till next time, peace. Kyrie. Kyrie. He's got Tucker in a blender. Yeah, man.